Hey guys, my name is Kent and you're watching Diagraphics. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the Rotate tool, which is great for drawing things like this clock inside Adobe Illustrator. But before we do that, I just want to say thanks to all the people who have subscribed to my channel. I just reached 200 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you very much for that. I will start by drawing two shapes for this example. So the first shape I'm going to draw is a regular circle. Then I want to draw a line like this. So what are you going to do if you want a couple of these with the same distance to the circle? The way beginners will do this is by duplicating this and trying to rotate it like this. And you see this will never work. It's very very hard to get perfect. So what you want to do instead is I just delete these. You want to go to the rotate tool over here. There's a couple of ways to do this. The first way I want to show you is where you manually rotate it. So you want to take this small crosshair, pick it up and just put it inside the center of this circle. And now you can take this one and just rotate it. So you can rotate this and push the alt button to duplicate it. And then release the alt button, push this and push the alt button again like this. And you can copy it this way. But in this way, it is very hard to get it perfect as well. So if you want something to be perfect with the rotate tool, instead of just dragging this, you want to click the alt button first. So click the alt button until these small dots appear. And then you want to click this crosshair and drag it down to the center. And this window will pop up. So now you have a lot more control over it. So this way you can calculate how much distance you want between every line. So because a full circle is 360 degrees, you can just choose a number here that adds up to 360 degrees and it will work perfect. For this example, I will just use 45 degrees. So take this and click copy and you can see this will be 45 degrees. So to repeat this step, instead of just doing this all over again, you can just push Ctrl and D. This is step and repeat. So you can just push this until it's full. As you can see, this matches perfectly. And that's how you use the rotate tool. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.